How you doing there? I was just making a wish that you guys were going to show up today with me here in Lakeland, Florida. We are at Lakeside Village. Um, the locals call it the Cobb. And uh, today we're going to just poke around here. But firstly, and most importantly, we're going to go check out my favorite candy store of all time. It's called the Rocket Fizz. Let's do it. Here we are inside of Rocket Fizz, and we get greeted with a very large Tootsie Roll. Well, they got all kinds of goodies. So they got stuff over here, like original worm snacks. Oh, and that's barbecue flavor. That sounds delicious. And then what do they got here? They've got gummy snot, boogies in a box, <laughs> and apparently the boogers taste like lemon and lime. Also like old old school candy I grew up with, Zots. These are fun, they fizz in your mouth. Really tasty as well. Lollipops with bugs in it. I'm just showing you the gross stuff right now. Crickets, ooh, bacon and cheese. That's how I like my crickets, I'll tell you what. And in case saltwater taffy is up your alley, they've got a whole row. And when it comes to uh, this kind of candy up here, they sell uh, it in bulk. Oh, I guess the taffy as well. $6.99 small bag, $8.99 for a big bag. Yeah, it's a pretty good side bag. We got stuff like this, the fruzies or fruities. Beyond just being a candy store, they sell uh, like posters, like uh, what do you call that? A like concert posters. Looks like they're about ten bucks a piece. Kind of cool. Yep, I got those for sale. And like 10, 10 posters as well. I really like that one. Probably buy that one at some point. It looks like these, yep. Yeah, the posters go all the way around. Anybody up for some pizza? And also, if the weird kind of crazy candy is not up your alley, they have a whole bunch of candies, you know. And I like how they display them. It's all spread out. All kinds of good stuff. Choose from four new specialties done up in a big way. These on giant chicken parmigiana. 
We got these little toilet candies with lollipops. You dip it in the toilet and eat the candy. And these right here are one of my all time favorites. Licorice pipes. The price is not too bad. I think this is like a dollar fifty. So if you like licorice, that's a good choice as well. So I don't know if you guys saw my other video, but we went into the Japanese pavilion over at Epcot and they had these little poppin' cooking. Like I think you make them, they're kind of jelly type stuff, but they sell them here. And I'm not sure what the price was over there. Uh, and I'm not sure what the price is here. I'm guessing they might be a little bit cheaper here. Maybe not, I don't know. And just in case you needed a handy, handy, no, handy panda, you can get those here as well. And also they sell these Japanese drinks, which are actually pretty tasty. And what's cool about these, this is the same one, you, in the top of it, you push down and a marble comes out. And the marble is in there, you don't drink it, obviously, it has a thing, so you don't drink it. Um, yeah, it just stays in there and helps it fizz, I guess, and then after you take the cover off, and you got a marble to play with. So it's like a soda and a toy. And these are $2.99, which is actually pretty good. And it's been a while since I have been in this store, unfortunately, um, and I just noticed that they have a new section with Harry Potter type candy, I guess. That looks like jelly beans. They got Harry Potter chocolate frog. That's kind of cool. Uh, what is this right here? These are, okay, these are playing cards, I guess. And this is really neat. They have a Harry Potter chocolate wand with a wizard spell sheet. And this is $13.99. So, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you can come get some candies over here. That's pretty cool. The only thing I don't see, I don't know if they have butter beer, but got some Harry Potter candy and pretty good price. And there's another little section over here where I don't know who remembers it, but they got dark crystal. That looks like a puzzle. Got a dark crystal cup there. And that cup cup is 16. That's not bad. Looks like they got some dark crystal pins. That's trial by stone. Oh, okay. They got some with pictures on it. So they got that. They got a labyrinth. Labyrinth cup. Also, they got a labyrinth puzzle. Right, same idea. And that is also 16 for the, for the mug. That's a cool, oh, and they think they have, yep, yeah, in case you need a lunchbox. And then, not necessarily up my alley, but Friday the 13th, scary mugs and that right there. Guessing those are probably about the same price. And then just for fun, they have the clock from Beauty and the Beast. I'm not sure. These might even be for sale. I'll have to check that. Hmm. I'm guessing maybe. Yeah. Looks like that one's still wrapped up. Hmm. They also had this. It's all packaged up. Lemieux, I believe is his name. Yeah, uh, Lemire, excuse me. So, they have this bin here. I saw a price on another one at uh, the Tinkerbell that said it was $25.99 for the Tinkerbell. So I'm guessing maybe roughly that's what you pay for these as well. So if you wanted to cut out, 
Beauty and the Beast. It looks like they have that and Tinkerbell and Minions. You can get that. And here at Rocket Fizz, they take their pride in selling all kinds of sodas. That's the big wall for display only, apparently. But they have the good stuff right over in the cooler here. So they have stuff like s'mores soda, green jalapeno, peach. That's not that weird. They got one funky ones. This one is fungal fruit. They have bug barf, swamp juice, worm juice, zombie brains, and dog gruel and kitty piddle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Over here they got some fun, interesting ones. Got carrot cake, coffee, all kinds of uh, all kinds of weird ones. I think I'm gonna get a weird one today to try it out. This one I don't think I'm ever gonna try. It's called Christmas Mint Soda. I like mint, but just not in soda form. Looks like they got some normal ones, you know, root beer and stuff too, if you don't want to do weird kind of sodas. And this one right here might be probably the most disgusting soda for most people. This is made in Maine, and I actually like it. It almost tastes like a... It's like a cola at first, and you think it's good, and then at the end, it's really, really bitter. I like it, but a lot of people hate that. But if you ever get brave, buy one and try it out. I'm just not sure which one to get. They're both weird. Pickle or peanut butter and jelly. I just don't know. Decisions very hard in life. I think we're gonna go with this one. It's a good choice. So here we go. We're gonna try out the peanut butter and jelly soda, uh, and we're gonna see if it's y'all get your fixing. See how it tastes. I don't know if this is a twist off. It is a twist off. Smells like a fruit snack. All right, let's try this out. Here we go. I have no idea what that tastes like. It does not taste like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It tastes like a sugar-free lollipop. It's not bad. It's kind of fun. Maybe next time I'll get the pickle one. But uh, that's not bad. It's not bad. It was like uh, $2.14, I think. Yeah, not bad. So we're in the middle of the cob here, and that was the Rocket Fizz candy store. And if you come over here, it books a million, but they have a place called Yogurt Mountain right there that you can go in and ask for two sample cups, and you can try out their frozen yogurt. They have some pretty good stuff, so maybe we'll go in and uh, Try that out. I said yo good mountain. I got my cup here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the coconut pink lemonade. You can swirl it, which means mix it. So let's see how that looks. Looks pretty. Next. 
I don't think it's going to be as refreshing as the other. It smells like a birthday cake. Tastes like a birthday cake. It's really good. I like that. And I think last but not least, we're going to try the caramel pretzel. Mmm, smells like a pretzel. That is really interesting. It almost tastes like caramel bark. Mm. Really good. And with this stuff, you can buy it by the pound, the yogurt, frozen yogurt, and then you can put all of these delicious toppings on. Oh, they all look good. And here at the Cobb, or Lakeside Village, they have places to eat. This place, I guess, is pretty good. I haven't been here yet. BD's Mongolian Grill. And right over there, you can see, is the Fish City Grill. That is going to be all for me today here at Lakeside Village, uh, a.k.a. the Cobb, is what the locals call it. Uh, it was pretty fun going to that candy store. Uh, the peanut butter and jelly soda was okay. It just didn't taste exactly like peanut butter and jelly, but still pretty good. But uh, So until we see you next time, remember there's only one way to live in a moment.